Hi guys, some of you asked me to make a tutorial on how I edited this Instagram reel, so let's begin. All you need is the car clip. A clip of your hand like this, I've recorded my own hand on a white background to make it easy to roto brush the hand and isolate it from a background. And lastly a green screen of airplane flying towards camera, I will leave this green screen video in a description. First of all let's cut the video, I will use only this part of this clip. Now I will toggle on my hand video and toggle of other layers for a while. Let's grab a roto brush tool and double click on hand layer and roto brush the hand to isolate it. Once you are happy with the selection, go frame by frame forward to check if selection is following the hand. If the selection needs to be fixed like in my case, stop there, fix the selection and check frame by frame again till the end of the video. Once you are happy with it, click on freeze button. As the freezing is done, go back to composition. Let's smooth the edges of the hand, under the roto brush, increase feather a bit. Increase the reduce chatter and reduce shift edge until it will be smooth. Nice, I'm happy with my hand layer. Toggle on car and crashing plane layers. On plane layer add keel eyed effect. Select an eyedropper tool and click on green screen to remove it. Now all we have to do is, choose the right timing of a plane and a hand layer. Move hand layer above plane clip and choose the right timing of where plane almost hits the car and a finger movement that hits the plane. Once it's cool. Let's toggle of hand layer for a while and select your car clip, then go to tracker and click on, track motion. We need to make plane flying more realistic and tracked with our video, in my case I will move track point on this black spot of the spoiler here. Make the big point a bit bigger and small one a bit more smaller. This will take a bit longer to analyze the video, but the results will be better, now click on options. Select RGB and make sure to toggle on adapt feature on every frame, then click on OK. Now click on track forward and wait until it's done. Once the analyzing is finished, create new null object. Click on edit target and here make sure to select the null we have created then click on OK. Click on apply now and make sure apply dimensions are set to X and Y, then click on OK. Link plane layer to a null. Plane is tracked with the video and it looks better. Toggle on hand layer and correct the hand layer's position. That's cool in my case. Stop at the moment where finger touch the plane, then select plane layer and cut it there. Make sure you are at the very beginning of the second piece of the plane layer, right click on it, go to time and select, freeze frame. The plane is now frozen and we can animate it. At the very beginning press P on your keyboard to open position, click on position stopwatch icon. You can also enable 3D on that layer and click on orientation stopwatch icon to make some rotation animations. Go a few frames forward and start changing position and rotations of the plane. Let's check the animation. That looks fine to me. Let's make a few more adjustments. Here we can see a shadow that flies away with the plane and it is annoying a bit, let's quickly fix it. Solo the frozen plane layer, and toggle on transparent from here, so we can clearly see the shadows. Now grab a pen tool and mask the plane. That's it, shadows are gone. Toggle off solo now and let's check the animation again. That's way better to me. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comments or on Instagram. Hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and like the video please.